Hi everybody and welcome back to STEM Adventures. Today we're going to be doing a Valentine's Day themed STEM project, experiment, race, game, whatever you want to call it. Um, you don't see anything in my hands right now because there was no good way to show you how to assemble this. I'm going to explain it to you and then I'm going to show you the actual project experiment and it'll all make sense. So we are doing a Cupid's bow and arrow balloon race. So if there's two of you in the house that want to do this, you can turn it into a race. If there's only one of you, that's how it becomes just a project or an experiment. So what you will need, and I'm looking at it right now, so you see me looking over top of the camera. You need a balloon, construction paper, string, fishing line, or something that you can hang, binder clips, tape, construction paper, I don't know if I said that already, and two places to anchor that string or fishing line. So when you turn it around, you will see that I have already blown up my balloon. I've already cut and secured my fishing line to two anchor points, which are two chairs. Um, my balloon is clipped with the binder clip and I made fins for it out of construction paper because it's supposed to be like Cupid's arrow. So it doesn't really look like an arrow, but I did put fins on it. And then you tape a straw to the top of the balloon to thread the wire through because you're going to try to make the, the balloon shoot from one end to the other like Cupid is sho shooting his bow and arrow. So I'm going to turn it all around so you can see it and then we are going to do the actual experiment. All right, so here it is. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm filming at home today. So that's what you see in the background. But... So you've got your balloon with the fins on it and the straw on the top. And you can see here, I have the fishing line and it's secured with the binder clip. Then I have one chair here and one chair there. And those are our anchor points. So what I'm gonna do, and this is going to be trickier than not uh, trying to hold the camera and do this, but we're trying to go to that other kiss chair over there. So I am going to pull the binder clip off and we're going to see what happens. Ta-da! It went from one side to the other. So as you can see, it made it to the other side. Uh, it did what it was supposed to, it shot, but as you can tell, probably didn't look like it was going very fast because it wasn't going very fast. So another trick is they say that you should have your anchor points um, 10 feet apart. I don't know if mine were 10 feet apart. I didn't measure and I, I couldn't. This is the length of this room. This is all the further I can make it go. So um, if this from here to here was not 10 feet, then that could be why it didn't go very fast. It did what it was supposed to though. And you know, sometimes in some adventures of mad scientists, it does not do what it's supposed to. So I'm just excited that it did. But uh, some of the keys you can think about is how you make your fins and where you attach your straw. This is all part of aerodynamics. And a couple of weeks ago, we made the straw and paper airplanes that were kind of a flop and they didn't work. Uh, so you can go back and look at that because we did talk about aerodynamics on the website and what it is and how it works. Um, but it would be interesting to see you guys do more than one of these, like do it with two people in your house and have like two sets of anchor points and two sets of balloons and see who can design the fastest arrow. But if you can't, you just want to see it work. It does work. So that is STEM Adventures for today. There are make and take kits available for this project if you would like one at the library. And we hope to see you back here for the next STEM Adventures. Have a great day.